it's really real this time. It's really real. It's really, really real. All right, everybody, it's your man Z with Our Views Will Kill You. And I'm covering a story about, you know, I've been following this monsters thing. And it seems like it's really happening. I'm cautiously optimistic, right? So Rob Zombie says his monster mansion and Mockingbird Lane sets are almost finished. And he gave pictures as receipts, so we have evidence. So the 1313 Mockingbird Lane set is almost done, which means this might actually get filmed. I don't know. We're not sure yet, but let's take a look and see what we got today. Um, hey. <laughs> The caption on his photo says, uh, Mockingbird Lane lives again. It's a beautiful day in Budapest <laughs> and good old Mockingbird Lane is coming along perfectly. Who wouldn't want to live here? And we'll take a look at the pictures actually. I'll pull up his, his Instagram before we get any further here. So, and he, of course he tagged the real Butch Patrick. So who wouldn't do that? <laughs> There's a guy saying, I'm a carpenter, what dream work. So yeah, you can see they, they also built like the houses along the lane. Who built this? What are they gonna do with this thing? It's crazy. Uh yeah, you can see the you know the house is always very distinct. It has that I don't know if it's Victorian or whatever it is, but it's it's cool. It's coming along. I see the roof is like on the ground, so looking spooky. Uh, there were, and these are pictures from the 23rd, so this is pretty recent. Uh, here's this set of the other houses on Mockingbird Land. So they have a couple of other set pieces that that are, you know, like the normie houses. <laughs> and there's a little bit more construction. I think we have one more picture here. Yeah, so you only get like two actual pictures of the, the house itself. But, I mean, it, it seems real, right? Does everybody else believe me? You guys believe this is really happening? As the story goes, um, Rob Zombie's been chasing this movie for, I guess, 20 years. He's real good at going after movies that never get made, just like the Broad Street Bullies movie that never got made. This is, you know, it, it seems like it's happening. The original Monsters House uh, used in the 1964 through 66 series was actually an exterior at Universal Studios. He shared other stuff. I have another story right here that goes over some of the close-ups of some of the other prosthetics and things that he's, he's doing, you know, cause he's got Herman's flathead. Uh, let's see here. There's no casting. We don't know who the casting is yet, but he was given some tips to the wardrobe, like showing, you know, a whole bunch of different outfits. Okay. And uh, like they say here, he's been, he's been chasing this for, for 20 years. Uh, he, you know, directed House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, and the Halloween sequels, but it doesn't necessarily seem to be that he's in the positive circles at the moment of people, you know, letting him make stuff. So I think this is a really good sign. I'm pretty darn excited. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update there so you could check it out too. Uh, we'll cover any more monster stuff that comes up because I'm a big fan. You know, I think I've said this before, but... I grew up watching the Munsters and um, more. So, I like the Adams Family, but I definitely grew up more so with the Munsters than the Adams Family and and all the mythos there. And, and the, I showed the cool car last time. So we're hoping, I can't imagine he won't put that in there. So anyway, <clears throat> be sure to catch our full length audio podcast. You can catch that anytime you want on any podcasting platform or you can hang out with us live while we stream it on friday night 7 30 p.m eastern standard time you can catch it with my partner noob noob and if you want to talk to us be sure to catch us uh, just dm us on instagram instagram underscore or orc underscore you i think that's what it is Meh. it's in a link somewhere so anyway uh more monsters news real excited Hopefully this happens. Uh, you know, they've tried to remake it a couple of times. It's been a little weird in the past, but this one seems like they're staying true to the actual story and the actual show. I mean, who knows with Rob Zombie? It could be off the walls, like murdery, bonkers, who knows? But so far, I'm liking what I'm saying. Let me know if you like what you're saying in the comments below, and we'll catch you on the next one. So for now, I'm on.
to the next one. Bye.